Hello, and welcome to this introduction to the Continuum Magic Sharp effect for Adobe Premiere. I'll begin by going to the Timeline Effects list, opening the Continuum Image Restoration group, and dragging Continuum Magic Sharp to a segment in my timeline. The effect is applied with its default settings. When I zoom in, we can see that the default settings have already improved the sharpness of the image. Let's take a look at the settings in more detail, beginning with Sharpen Amount, which controls the overall intensity of the effect. Sharpen Threshold controls the contrast level at which the effect becomes active. Higher values will affect contrasty areas where edges are already sharp, and lower values will affect less clearly defined edges, where the sharpening is more likely to be required. Sharpen Radius determines the size of the area around the sharpened edge which is affected. Setting this to a higher value can result in an embossed type of effect. Noise Reduction applies a smoothing filter after the sharpening process. When I twirl open the Detail Tuning controls, I can enable up to four detail ranges to adjust independently. I'll enable the Fine and Coarse ranges and adjust these as required. Channel tuning allows for selective weighting of the effect in the red, green and blue channels, along with the option to control the sharpening for luminance and chroma independently. Range tuning allows independent adjustment of user-defined highlight, midtone and shadow ranges. Enabling Range Preview displays a colour overlay in the protected areas of each range. I'll choose to apply the sharpening effect more strongly to the shadows in this example. In the next example I'll apply sharpening to the fine details, limit the effect to the highlights and enable the Reduce Grit feature. I'll adjust the radius and sensitivity of the grit reduction to minimise high frequency noise whilst maintaining optimal highlight sharpness. Now I'll enable Compare Mode and move the white point to show before and after Magic Sharp is applied to the image. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Boris Effects on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro, and all the Boris Effects products.